Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily clean up your Outlook inbox to free up some additional space without even needing to delete any emails that are presently in your main inbox here. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the File tab up at the top left. And then where it says Mailbox Settings, select the corresponding Tools button on the left side of it. And then you can select the Empty Deleted Items folder, which will permanently delete all items in the Deleted Items folder. You also clean up old items, so you can move old items to the Outlook data file or a new Outlook data file. But the one we're going to be focusing on in today's tutorial will be the Mailbox Cleanup, which manages mailbox sizes with advanced tools. Go ahead and select that. So this kind of gives you a catch-all for most different areas that you'd want to be doing any cleanup task with. So the first option you can use is to sort of manage the size of your mailbox. So you can find types of items to delete or move, empty the deleted items folder, or you can have Outlook transfer items to an archive file. If you select view mailbox size, you can go ahead and see how large your mailbox file size is presently, including subfolders. And if you want to go ahead and modify files that are a certain period of days old or in terms of how large they are, you can search for those sort of files as well. You can auto-archive old items to a different file on your computer, so you can auto-archive. And then going back to a setting that we were talking about in the Tools menu, you can empty the Deleted Items folder permanently to delete those items. You can view the deleted item sizes first, or you can just go ahead and just empty them out. And then if we went back into the Mailbox Cleanup, you can also delete all alternate versions of items in your mailbox as well. So you can view conflict sizes as well. If you see any particular files in here you don't need, you can go ahead and clear them out or delete them. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.